What is up, YouTube? This is the real. <laughs> this is where you make a fucking reel being like what you think it's like being Mr. Olympia, and it's just me deadlifting sixth place like the last video. And this is what it's really like trying to win Mr. Olympia, just falling asleep through the middle of the day because I'm very tired. But yeah, it's chest day, so I'm just gathering my energy and absorbing my chakra into my pecs. Thing, I'm my father's son! And getting ready to fuel up. So Calvin's trying to build some furniture. Poppy is overseeing the system. And chest day, so it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna get up in a bit and show you my show you my pre-workout and we're gonna get to the gym and fuck it up. What's uh all this there for? Just the laundry. She's cleaning. I did. I'm trying to because Kelvin, the lovely man behind the camera, just put together these racks for me. Because our closet doesn't have any racks, so yeah. Yeah, our house is just stark, empty, like the closet is just white walls. Not even anything to hang. So before we get like a custom closet built in, we got some racks from Target. But they're actually pretty legit. It looks fancy, so we're good to go. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit in the kitchen. Part number two of prep life, I'm freezing all the time, even in Florida. At least in the house when our AC's on. But it's pre-workout time, so time to get lit. Chest day, so we're trying to get a filthy pump. Going with pump, raw pump and raw pump too. This is my personal favorite flavor right now, blue punch. It's literally fruit punch and blue raspberry combo, and it's delicious. We're going two scoops, because real men do two scoops. So if you're wondering why there's a pump and a pump two, this is literally just glycerized or glycerol powder for the pump two. This is like an added extra thing for the super extra pump. And then raw pump is, I don't know what I'll memorize obviously, but it's mainly you get 2.5 grams of citrulline, and 750 milligrams of eggmatine, you get nitrous hydrogen, tyrosine, beta alanine, sodium, potassium, all that good shit for the nice pump. So it's chest day, so we're trying to get absolutely huge but I'm gonna mix this up. And one thing that I recommend, especially when you're taking pump products and with your pre-workout, dry scooping is a bad idea. Not only is a bad idea, it's the opposite of a good idea. It doesn't make any sense. But when you're having pump products like this, I try to have a lot of water. So I actually fill the bottle to the top. The more water you get, you're trying to like hydrate your cells, using all the pump product to flush water in there and get a big pump. The pump doesn't come from the powder, it comes from the powder utilizing water, rushing nutrients to the muscle. So drink as much water as possible before your workout, throughout your day. Stay hydrated and drink a lot with your pre-workout. And that's my one and only tip for the day. So basically say no to dry scooping. Say no to dry scooping. It's bad for your health and it's bad for the pump, to be completely honest. It's very bad for the pump. So I'm gonna drink this up, I'm gonna head to the gym and train some chest. I did that. Okay. All right, so here we are, chest day. I'm not trying to do anything fancy, not trying to do anything new, so we're gonna stick to the good old chest day routine we've been doing. Start on this piece of prime equipment right here. I did five plates, I think, two weeks ago. We're down to four and a quarter right now. I'm trying to play it smart. My wrist, shoulder stuff hurts, so just trying to get a nice squeeze out of it. But we're gonna do this, and then I'm gonna try and be strong as fuck on the dumbbell press. We'll see if I can still do 150. I'll save my power for that, and we're gonna warm up for this bad boy. Let's get to work. Up, up, up. Ooh. Ooh. 
so flat right now that like squeezing the muscle feels like there's just no muscle there to squeeze. But that feeling of flatness and hunger and depletion means we're getting shredded. This bench here always messes with my head. It's like arched. So even if you think it's on an incline because of the back stretch, your back still comes flat and it's like you're doing a flat chest press which I'm doing fine. But somebody's using the inside bench so I can't use it. I'll have to see. Making it work. Since it's too high to drop because it's so much higher, mm -hmm. I can't be an asshole today. I can't throw the weights on the ground. heavier than the week before. I think I got less one or two left reps. But I felt good. I felt secure. So felt powerful. Felt powerful. OP. We're going OP this year. Would be nice. We're about to see how skinny I am right now. I haven't had carbs in three days. I can't believe how baby your triceps are this year. Were they not last year? I don't recall. No. You're so much bigger than last year. That I just, I don't know, there's something different. I'm skinny this year. You know, you powerful this year. You OP. And then we can go to the Olympics together. <laughs> Power. Power, nice. Two. Three, four, come on, five, six, seven, don't quit, eight, nine, oh. I'm being a good model citizen today, I even put my weights back. Didn't throw the weights and drop the weights, I put them back. Arigato. Five, six, five. Play it safe. Alright, come on. Oh. Champ set. Nice. Oh. Control. Perfect. Oh. Good. Come on, Chris. Breathe. Nice. Finish strong, champ. And you're like, I don't know. Being this like point in prep right now, some days I have like a little salt. I was just talking Ian, and I get like an actual pump. And when I'm like flat, but have a pump because I never eat sodium. But today I had a little sodium and I took all the pump products, which I don't take the pump products every day, just because. When I combine those, I just like actually get like a chest pump eating like no carbs. It just feels so good to be like pumped up when you have it for like a week. So, life's good. Life is beautiful. The sun is shining. It's actually raining. It's rain. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the fuck? It's been raining all day. It's, beautiful. it's, still, beautiful. it's still beautiful. Life is beautiful. We're enjoying it. What's the middle, middle bit of salt? Like? What do you mean by what do you do like different? a pinch in my hand pre-workout meal? No, I put it in my hand so I can see it. I'm blind. When I sprinkle out of the container, I never see it, so I put it in my hand. And I just have like 
a little bit and I just put it on my meal. But I put a bunch of hot sauce too, so I know I get a lot of sodium from mustard and hot sauce. Okay. There you go. Salt is the secret. Salt bay. Oh! Alvin just got an energy boost, as you can tell by the difference in filming. But this is gonna be our last chest superset movement, whatever the fuck you want to call it. There's music too loud, probably. I hope it doesn't copyright, so I'll talk loud and quick. But we're doing high pulley flies to try and hit that kind of like pec minor lower thing here. And then we're gonna run over and we're gonna do dips until failure over there for two working sets. And then we're gonna move on, finish the workout with some triceps. Doing assisted. Assisted. It's a beautiful superset. Finish off the get the triceps ready. Finish off that like heck minor you know, don't normally don't hit. Getting there. Good. Come on, champ. Power. More. I'll help. Continue. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. Good. Ooh. That's going to be a wrap on today's workout. We're taking some picks. So I don't think Calvin filmed all those sets, but we did five sets here. Because they were feeling really good. And we we're doing the super set. Underhand grip to overhand grip. So it was like two exercises in one. So we did five sets here and the dips we did there. That's enough for our secondary tricep movement. You saw the rest of the workout. Felt good. Got a nice little pump. So got some cardio to do now. Lots of stuff going on. Today was a merch shop. Went super successful. Tomorrow we're gonna be in the warehouse. I'm gonna be talking more about that show you a little bit of the behind the scenes, what's going on over there, and I think that's it for today. So, probably see you guys tomorrow at the warehouse. And we'll Bro, M Miguel Oliveras.
from North Hollywood. I wish I was in Hollywood. This one's for Devin Foster. Appreciate you, brother. Supporting with the penny. There's a lot of pennies right now. Or just print out an order, I guess. Mitchell Torres, California. Beautiful time to be alive. Jacob Borchert. Thank you kindly, good sir. I'm not gonna film me doing all this shit. But we're gonna go over there, we're gonna meet the boys in the warehouse, gonna show you guys kind of some of the system, what's going on back there. But first of all, holy fuck, my brain's not working right now. But this was our biggest launch to date. We're not completely sold out, but most of the stuff sold out. A lot of the sizes are, we got a lot of these t-shirts, cause these were like the staple, like Olympia shirt. There's still a few of these left. I don't know if they still will be when this video goes up, but if they are, grab them quick, they'll probably be gone soon. But, like I said, this has been a huge launch and you guys fucking came and swarmed the site and I just want to say how much I appreciate your guys' support. It's really cool for me kind of being like three weeks out to Olympia, getting after it and knowing that there's so many people who have my back, want to rep my merch, my name on your shirt, just showing your support. It really motivates me and it like kind of lights a little extra. I got the fire lit under me like internally, but that's just like a little extra flame right on my butthole. What? Bro, what are you talking about? I'll ram it right up your fucking ass. From all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fire on the ass goes up the butthole eventually. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to say how much I appreciate your guys' support. I was just talking to Matt about a fun little like event or something we could do to kind of give back to people who purchase something, just show their support in any way because it really truly does mean the world to me. And I wouldn't be living this life doing what I am doing if it weren't for you guys. Literally just chasing the dream, trying to get that fucking three-peat, trying to get huge, jack, juicy, shredded, throng. All the above. If you guys would like to do an event, let us know down in the comments. Yeah, so anything like, I was thinking some kind of a like cool free event where I can bring some of you guys down to bought stuff, train, seminar type kind of deal, free of charge, and I don't know, any ideas you guys have that you think would be cool or you'd want to be a part of, let me know down in the comments below and we're going to do our best to make that happen. Post Olympia, probably here in Florida because it's easier to get to. Definitely not Canada because no one can get to Canada right now. But yeah, we're gonna try that out, so let me know down below, and then we're gonna head back in the warehouse and show you guys what's up over there. This is where the magic happens. This is where my lazy ass does not live. These hustlers have been grinding. We've got our special packers here today. Surviving another day? Huh? Surviving another Surviving day? Surviving another day. You're doing very well. What's going on, guys? What's up? What's up? Look. How you doing? Good. How are you? How are you? Hustling away in the warehouse? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you guys. You too. What's your name? Julian. Julian? Ben. Ben? Nice, nice to meet you, man. What's up, man? How's it going? What's your name? Uh, Landon. Landon? No. No one? Nice to meet you guys. You guys sweating back here yet or it's surviving? Surviving. <laughs> Age hasn't killed me yet. Paige has not murdered anyone yet, no. so far with the fish. <laughs> but it is only day two, so there might be blood on the floor tomorrow. We don't know. Do you want to take any of your cookies and cream protein? Oh, maybe, yeah. Tristan, I'll leave a note for John or Cat here. So we got all these fucking bins already. Just from probably like a couple hours this morning. But, uh, yeah. Dear UPS man, driver, employee, I apologize. <laughs> we apologize from the bottom of my heart if you're watching the video. I know you're not, but your job is really cut out for you today. God damn. I think this is a sign of the time that we need to start taking things to the next level, Matt. You agree? Um, what do you guys think of your own uh, Chris, Chris line? What is it? What? Not Chris line, actual like clothing, maybe we could stay in stock maybe. Oh yeah. Know. This is what I mean when you're like, oh you're out of stock already, come on man, like playing, like we're trying to keep up. So next level, love on yeah, we're, we're getting better. We got people. We're packing. trying. When you guys say you're cheap in stock, like you guys are just fucking amazing. Yeah, you guys are absolutely crazy killing it right now, helping us out, supporting us. So we're gonna like I said, try and give back and we're also gonna try and keep expanding our business ventures. 
opportunities like the progress and moving forward and having more of a structure set up so that you guys aren't missing out on anything and we hear you guys too with some of the shipping costs that were a little crazy that's completely out of our control whether it's UPS, USPS, FedEx, who's ever charging on the website it's their preset price and it just goes on but with our growing expanding that's one of our number one problems that we're trying to solve right now so we're problem solving Matt's been working a lot with like this place, post Gina, post, post office, office, a bunch of people he's been in contact with. So we're trying to help that out as best as we can. But right now it seems local shipping in the US is like the cheapest and everything outside. It just depends on the time of year. And COVID made it a lot crazier too. So we're trying to keep up with all these concerns and progress and everything, but we're yeah. working on it. And for anybody in Australia, I don't know why, but the post office completely suspended shipping for international just shipping and priority. So. It's not us. I don't know why they did it. Hopefully it's back soon. Yeah, none of the shipping is us. I love you, Australia, from the bottom of my heart. Can't wait to visit again, but we're sorry you guys couldn't get it. All right, that's a wrap on today's video. Again, thank you guys so much for your support. Tomorrow is an exciting day. Something big is happening. And I don't know when the video is going to come out of it, but you're going to see it. It's going to be something visual, something symbolic, something classic so stay tuned i'll see you later